Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to do an easy recipe. It's just some homemade beef stew. Very simple. Let's get into it. Okay guys, first of all, disclaimer, I'm not a real chef. I just like to cook different things. I like to try different things. I love to cook. Um, so, but, you know, we're just going to make some beef stew. i got some uh, stew meat here, which you can use beef tips, you know, whatever you can afford. Because um, this, is, this is pretty pricey here. This was like $17.27. Now, if you have the card, uh, it was $12.33. There's two pounds of meat there. Usually, it would call for a pound, but since there's four of us going to be eating this tonight, went ahead and got two pound monkey went to the store and got it for me we're going to have some onion i'm just going to use one chopped white onion diced up of course you can cut it however you want i uh, got some of this montreal seasoning and got some worcestershire sauce uh, i like to use kikamon but they don't have any so uh, we're going to have some beef broth in it we're going to put a little bit of Foster's beer in there and uh, Australian beer uh, and I'm probably going to have to add some water to it so that's going to weaken this down so I'm going to put a couple of these beef bouillons in there and then a couple other uh, items um, we're going to have some cut up potatoes um, I got some baby carrots over here uh, like I said you can use whatever you want um, Another good way, the canned potatoes that you buy, especially if you're just going to make a, a small pot for a single or just two people, uh, those little canned potatoes, those are just fine. Just dump them in there. But So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this onion diced up, and we're going to put it in there. We're going to kick it up just a few minutes in some, a little bit of oil and a little bit of this beer. And uh, then we're going to brown the meat and then we'll put it all together and we'll just let it cook. It's really simple. Um, like I said, the, as far as ingredients goes, guys, uh, seasoning and stuff like that, you can add whatever you want. You know, it's your dish. It's your meal. So this is kind of like a basic, here, take this and run with it. And if you guys make this dish, please let me know in the comments below how it turned out for you. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna chop this onion up, get it in the pan. About a tablespoon, two tablespoons, right in there.
Now once these these little uh, or little bouillon beef bouillon cubes once they they dissolve down then I'll take this out of here I'll take the onions out and I'll throw the meat in just to brown them and then once they get brown I'm not going to strain anything you can if you want but then I'll uh, I'll just go ahead and start adding the other stuff hot it's a good thing I can't fill it with my right hand uh, it does you know just brown it even if there's some some pink in the middle it's okay it's fine because this is going to cook for like another hour okay so what we're going to do now is I'm just throwing these um, baby carrots in whole you can cut them up you can use regular carrots you know whatever you desire you don't have to put any carrots in if, if you don't like carrots or you can't eat carrots that's fine like I said this is going to be your recipe. This is just kind of, you know. So I just use one small bag of it. Or you can use more if you want. Um, like I said, you don't have to use onions if you can't have onions. Uh, add, subtract. I've said that a hundred times. This is going to be your recipe. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some more of this in here. No, not this. Uh, a little bit more of this. This just, like I said, uh, I like Kikamon the best is my favorite which is funny because I have a subscriber that does uh, food reviews and her channel name is Kikomani <laughs> so that's pretty funny but anyway so shout out to her um, but uh, we're just going to add you know some lemon pepper some seasoned salt just whatever seasoning you want. Um, I got this garlic powder, so I'm going to use it. You can use fresh cloves, but I'm just going to use some of this garlic powder. I think will be I think will be fine for that. And we got some of this, uh, uh, of course, <laughs> some of this stuff. Like I showed you at the beginning, it's just um, okay. Where's my knife? This is just. Um, Montreal seasoning, just a steak meat seasoning type thing. Uh, like I said, it, you're only limited on, well, I guess what you can afford or what your imagination is or what kind of seasonings you like. Uh, you can put paprika in there. I'm not going to, but you can put some bay leaves. You can put thyme and all that kind of stuff. Make it fancy if you want. Okay, so we're going to pour, I still got about three-fourths of this. So I'm going to pour about half of that in there now we're going to add this a whole thing of this this is um i don't have my glasses on 32 ounces um i guess again whatever you want this beef broth uh, you can use beef stock you can use your homemade stuff you can use chicken and beef it doesn't matter uh this is swanson i use it uh because i like it they're not sponsoring me or anything like that okay this is just what what I, what I like to use I have used other stuff but um, this is just what what I use and it's cheap so now we're going to put our potatoes in 
So I've got six potatoes, just a little bit more than quartered up. Um, actually, like I said, I'm making a little bit more than I usually do. They say two potatoes per person, but I think with all this other stuff, this will be plenty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and then I'm going to turn it down to a simmer, and I'm going to let it simmer for about an hour, and then we'll check it out. I, I did uh, just kind of like a quick uh, one of my camping videos. Um, I made it in there, so what I turned this up on high. Um, I thought I made it once before here uh, in the kitchen, but uh, apparently I didn't because I was uh, looking for to find my recipe and uh, well, I, I couldn't find it. So, um, so I went back to the camping video where I found it at. So I thought I'd do it here on the stove, just quick and easy. Like I said, I'm going to bring that to a boil. Once it boils, I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer for an hour. Let's check on it here in a few minutes. Okay. We brought it up to a boil. Now I'm going to turn it down to not quite medium and not low. So I'm going to turn it down. Uh, mine's like on number four. What it does is, I'll show you here my knobs. Okay, see it goes low, two, four, six, eight, and high. So I'm going to put it oh, about three and a half-ish. And I'm going to let it simmer about like about like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it simmer for 30 minutes with the lid on and then I'm going to come out at, at about 30 minutes and I'll go ahead and set my timer and I will uh, take the lid off. Now you can use like a cream of tartar or a thickening agent. I don't, I don't have any of that so what I'm going to do after 30 minutes is I'm going to take the lid off I'm going to finish simmering it for another 30 minutes which will reduce it down so I'll bring you guys back on here in 30 minutes and we'll check it out and see how it's doing okay guys it's been 30 minutes I'm gonna take this off check it out there we go I'm gonna give this a stir looking pretty good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the simmer without the lid on so it'll thicken up and I'm gonna set it for 30 minutes so it'll reduce down to maybe about half and we'll come out here and check it again stay tuned okay guys it's been 30 more minutes so it's been an hour in total as you can see it has reduced down so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off Make sure that the potatoes are done. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to just give it a stir here. And I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. And we'll have Monkey, our guinea pig, try it. So. I'll be back here in 10 minutes, but for you, it'll just be a second. Hang tight. Okay, monkey's been waiting patiently. She's like, yeah, it's food time. She's hungry, so. Yeah. She's a hungry girl, huh? Yeah. All right, give it a shot, monk. See if it's as good. It won't be as good as it was on the fire, but I did put some liquid smoke in there to kind of give it that simulate kind of it, you know. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. get some carrots and potatoes and all that. Be careful, last time you burned yourself. He's like, well, that's good, it's hot, but it's good. <laughs> I'm waiting on the day where I screw up something. <laughs> like the first time I made this, remember we had a bad batch of this or something. Yeah. And it was real salty, I didn't even add any salt. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was bad. I wish we would have filmed that because that would have been funny. That was awful. Mm-hmm. You gonna dip your bread? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I bought some Italian bread. And I, so I can dip it in there and get all the juices. I did, I tasted the broth. It's very good. And, yeah, it I like it. pretty good. Mm-hmm. You, you can taste the smoke. That liquid smoke, you don't want to put a lot in, but when you're making something big like that, probably a teaspoon-ish 
Right. Depending. Yeah. No, it's very right. good. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Eat, yeah, eat. <laughs> She's gonna eat. Um, again, I'm not really a chef. I'm just like I'm just a guy that likes to cook for his family, and. She's a girl that likes to cook, to eat the cooking. <laughs> so anyway, guys, it, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. Check out DMOO and check out BXX32. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip flop. That being said, Shea Bear met the main legend. We're gone for now. Monkey Sushi's out for now. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Have a good one.